time no see. Good morning, Belinda. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Have you been out for a walk already? Thought it was only dog walkers that went out in the rain so early. Well, yes, um, I'm even a bit later today. I don't sleep very well, so I like to get out early. The roads are quieter. Maybe you should get a dog then. It would be still strange to me to have a pet. Even after all these years in England, I can't get used to the idea of a dog in the house. In my culture, an animal lives outside. Well, I can understand that. I could do without this one sometimes. You know, the grandchildren would complain if we didn't have a dog. How are they, the grandchildren? Oh, they're fine, thanks. Noisy, funny, exhausting, expensive, you know. How about yours? Do you hear from them much? Unfortunately not. I haven't seen them ever since my daughter moved to Australia. Australia? Oh, gosh, I didn't know that. Still, with technology these days, it's easier to keep in touch, isn't it? I mean, I'm amazed at what you can do with just a phone. Yes, we have a video call every now and then. There's a big time difference, of course. The twins are growing up now and they have their friends and interests. Oh, I see them every now and again. You have a son too, don't you? Yes, Dan. He has a restaurant in Paris, a French partner. They don't have any children. And they don't have much time, not for family anyway. Dan was a teenager when his father died. He couldn't wait to leave home and see the world. Do you know, Marley, I've hardly ever heard you talk about your late husband, or your son for that matter. I'm sorry. I should have asked. No, well, I was already widowed when you moved in next door. My husband died 15 years ago. You never knew him. Uh, anyway, don't let me stop you now. I'm sure you're busy with your work and your family. Um, it's been nice talking to you. Oh, hang on a minute. I've retired now, no more work. And the kids have left home. Did I say kids? <gasps> Big kids with kids of their own. So, so I'm not as busy as I used to be. No? Well, having said that, I'm very involved with a local charity organisation. We run pop-up cafes and a clothing bank for the homeless. So we're all volunteers. That's very good of you. Well, I decided I couldn't sit at home and twiddle my thumbs all day. And I'm very aware that we live in comfortable houses in a nice, safe street. You'd be surprised at what happens just around the corner. There's people sleeping in supermarket doorways and under the bridges. I had no idea. Yes, I have read people that sleep rough. It's very sad. But what can we do? Oh, there's a lot we can do. Listen. Are you free this afternoon? Why don't you come along and see for yourself? There are some lovely people, the helpers too. You meet all sorts. I don't know what I could offer. Everyone has something to offer, trust me. How about three o'clock? It's not far, we could go in my car. Well, all right. Thank you, Belinda. Great. Okay, Bruno, you win. Let's go. See you later. <laughs>